Welcome back to another Warframe video and today I know I'm very late making this video but I just want to bring it out to some of you guys so maybe uh, you guys are thinking about buying this maybe not but I just want to see if a lot of people are interested in this still um, so finally we got Anaros and Ash Prime they have finally arrived after a very long time I didn't know if they were gonna bring out new uh, Prime Warframes he's never seen in the Prime Resurgence before, and we have, I mean, Ash has been many times in the Prime Resurgence, but not Inaros. So, yeah, we got the uh, Warframes, weapons, and a lot of other amazing things. I already talked about the weapons, you can watch that in a recent video, I'll leave it in the link in the description, but you can go ahead and watch that video because I'm not going to talk about the weapons, I'm actually going to get straight into the Prime Accessories. So... We have Inaros here, and he comes with the Mitok Prime Armor Set, and then the Cadiz Prime Cyandana. It's finally about time. I actually know the pronunciations for these um, Prime accessories because I've dealt with them before in the past, so I made a video on these. And then we have um, Ash. Ash has the Unda Prime Sentinel Accessories. All right, he also comes with the Yamako Prime Cyandana. So, um, and this is for, you know, again, sent Sentinels, if I have not said that. Um, but, yeah, he's got not bad accessories. Uh, again, I really don't like Sentinels like that. Um, I mean, I like using my carrier Prime, which he has for uh, Sentinel Prime, you know, Prime Sentinel. But, to me... I wouldn't really care as much, but I love using my carrot prime though. So let's go ahead and move on to talking about the accessories. So taking a look at Anaros Prime first, we have the Cadiz Prime Slaying Donna, and this is uh it's good looking, but um it's too small. But not only that, it just doesn't fit on a lot of other warframes that I've seen. Put them on like maybe Nova, Volbon, um, many more. Like you think of any big warframes or small warframes they usually don't really fit nor do they look good with the warframe um and with the Naros wearing it he doesn't really look all that great wearing it too like he just doesn't at all and i don't know where they got this this design from or not even that but the the fact of this type of cyandana just it just doesn't even look good with the regular warframe that's supposed to be able to fit on that's its signature Warframe, you know? So, I just don't even know where they got this idea, but it's a no for me for this Ayandana. It's definitely not worth it. It is definitely not worth it. So, I uh, I would have told Digistream you could have definitely, most definitely kept this. Um, I think we could have done something different. I think we could have brought out something different for this, but it is what it is. I mean... Yeah, kind of is what it is. You can't really take it back, I guess. I don't know if they want to, but yeah. I guess we'll just have to accept it and move on. Now we have Inaros Prime um, armor sets. And talking about them, uh, yeah, I don't like any of these armor sets at all. Like not, e not, not, not the chest, not the shoulder, not the legs. I hate all of them. And they just literally did not put no thought, no effort to thinking that this will be the greatest Prime Armor set to actually give out to the community. To people that actually want to buy these type of things. They just did not put no thought into this. They just said, okay, we're going to make this, send it right out, you know? And um, I, I don't know what the hell these are. These are like the like the freaking things look like candy canes a little bit. Sounds kind of stupid, but that's what kind of reminds me of. Like literally, this is supposed to give a little Egyptian vibe, but you know, pyramid vibe. Like I don't even know what the heck this was actually supposed to give. I mean, an artist, I'm talking about the Warframe, but the actual armor set. I don't know what. They thought what this was supposed to be so the fact that they are um 
not really caring how they make these prime accessories is just honestly ridiculous to me. And it's like, it's not fair because you, you know, you're, you want people to buy them. But how can they buy them if you are making the prime accessories trash? I think they will buy it more if you actually put some thought into this. That's what I truly think. All right. But the platinum always, always sells. Now moving on to Ash Prime Accessories, we have the Unda Prime tail, mask, and the wings, okay? Did I say the mask? I think it said the wings. Yep, we're good. All right, so that's what we have for all four parts on this Sentinel, for every Sentinel, because it goes on every Sentinel, okay? And these, uh, these are not bad. I think the wings definitely gets me. Like, I like them. I also like the tail just a little bit. The mask, I would not wear. But everything else is not bad to this, okay? It's actually pretty great. Um, so I, I think maybe you guys might like this as well. But is this something I would definitely, like, quickly on my mind purchase this as a Prime Accessories? No. I'm focused on strictly Warframes. I really am. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about more Sayadana's and armor sets. But they're heavily focused on other things because I know other people like other things. And I get that. But I think if we're really being real here, I think the prime armor sets are, and Sayadana's are the most greatest things that sell more, in my opinion. That's my opinion, okay? That, that doesn't really sound realistic. But I just think... So, I mean, you guys can let me know if you like maybe something like Sentinel or, um, I guess, the Operators as well. Your actual human being, Tenno. Um, do you like more of those type of Prime Accessories where they give you suits and stuff like that? Y'all let me in the comments below what you guys like in a Prime Accessories. But not bad uh, armor set for the Sentinel. Finally, we got the last thing in his Prime Accessories is the Yamako Prime Sayandana. And this one actually looks really good. Um, but it's, again, it's tiny. Um, sometimes it doesn't fit on all Warframes. And it just doesn't match the colorization or the um, color scheme of your Warframe. And I just haven't worn this in a very long time. But looking at it, it looks really good. But it's just... Uh, some Warframes just can't fit it. Some Warframes doesn't play the uh, part of the Cyandana. You know? It just doesn't work out. But some of these Cyandanas are good looking. Except for Naros. But I would definitely have to say, phenomenal job they did on this one. I like how it shines. I like how it... Um... Overall, it's small too. So, small it is... It shines. It's great. <laughs> Not really, you know, something to uh, add on to every time. I just think that it is what it is if it shines. Um, usually, if it's too big, uh, it just doesn't work out with me because most of the Warframes are smaller. You know, their structure size, you know, it just it just won't fit most of the times. Depending on the Warframe as well, if I got a really good um, color scheme for a Warframe and I want to use a Cyandana that maybe is going to look the best on that Warframe, I need a war. I need a Cyandana that's going to look really high standard, uh, fashion, that has a lot of fashion to it, that's really good in designing, coloring. I need one of those things because it's going to make my um, ca uh, character look really good. That's what I wanted to do. So, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about the Yamako Sayandana and everything else in the Prime Accessories in the comments below. Now, the real question is, of course, is it worth it? I think I will only buy the Unda Prime Sentinel Accessories and the Yamako Prime Sayandana, but that depends on you, what you want to do with that information, okay? What you want to do. But I got to say, and I always had the worst Prime Accessories overall, and I don't think you should buy it at all that's what i recommend but 
Ash Prime does look good, so you guys, it's up to you what you want to do with that. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think, again, in the comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Keep sharing the content to friends, family, because we're pushing to 7,000 subscribers. I think we're 30 subs away, and we're almost there. So all I need you guys to do is keep sharing the content to friends, family, and especially to someone that actually plays the game and tell them to subscribe because we're almost there. And I really appreciate you guys so much for sharing the content, for enjoying the videos, and watching them as well. So love you guys so much, and I'm going to see you all in the next video. Thank you.